Hey you, welcome back to Planet Soups, aka my living room, aka my world where luxury is an everyday thing. So if you are here, you want to see the Marnie mules, the clogs, the Kaffir slippers, whatever you call them, you are here to see these shoes. I just got the last shipment, so I'm really excited to share them with you. I'll be talking about the sizing, how they look, how they feel, um, what they look like on, um, and showing you a little bit, if I can, them on my foot. So let's get into it. First of all, do not judge my nail, okay? Things happen. Nails break, okay? But anyways, I was very intrigued by these shoes when I first saw them. I really loved the green and I really loved the pink. And I kind of couldn't make a decision between them. And I'm the type of person that when things are too hype, when too many people want them, I just second guess myself whether I would like them or not. So... I didn't buy them right away. And then when I saw the price point, they retail for $7.90. I just kind of took a step back because I was just like, you know, I see people wear them a lot different ways, but I see them wear them as like an airport shoe, as a casual shoe. And I already have that kind of like Birkenstock clog category covered in my wardrobe. So I really just didn't need them. But as time went on, I figured if I'm going to be 80 years old picking my kids up or not picking my kids, picking my grandkids up, you know, in my little Porsche, I want to look fly. And I feel like if you love something or you can't stop thinking about it a year later, you see it and you really want it. That's when you know you should just get it. So that's why I took the plunge. I ordered this first pair, which is the pink pair. They come in different boxes. So the pink pair came in this just simple Marnie box. Um, I think this is because these were the spring summer 2021 pairs. So, you know, it comes with two dust bags for each individual shoe, hang tag. I already opened these and tried them on because I got these maybe like a month ago, I wanna say. So, First of all, this color is incredible. Like it is a true fuchsia. And I say true fuchsia because people say hot pink, but when you say hot pink, I think it disregards the fact that it has this very slight tinge of purple. And that's why I wore purple today because it does, my sweater does have like a hint of pink in it. So you can kind of see these colors against each other where it kind of plays off of each other. So it's not just a hot pink. It's not just a simple pink. It does have just that iridescent purpley effect to it. And they are very fuzzy. The calf hair feels extremely soft on these. Like I, I've had a lot of calf hair shoes and I'm always skeptical of buying calf hair because of the way that my heels rub together. I feel like this inside part always seems to rub off on me. So I'm a little bit concerned about that, but I think I'm just going to be delicate with these and, you know, I want to have them for a long time. And now that I've gone through so many calf hair pair of shoes, I'm more cognizant of it and so I'll be more careful but yeah the outside is absolutely gorgeous the inside has the Marnie logo on it and you know of course the inside is leather the outsole rather the sole of it is just a rubber so it is an outdoor shoe um, and you know, it has the verification of what the materials are on the bottom as well. And then I got these in a size 38 and a half. If you get the women's sizing, it will start at 35 and end, I believe at 41 or 43. I can't remember, but if you go for the men's sizing, it does, I think it does start at maybe 39 and then it goes up to 46. And also if you get the men's, the platform or the heel is three centimeters, whereas on the women's it's 2.5. I did notice that difference when I was trying to just 
trying to get my hands on these period um it definitely there is a difference and i was kind of curious about that because i feel like when you look at these online the men's seem more textured and even the name of them is different um it'll say like textured mule and then for the women's it'll say fuspet sabo the titles don't really mean anything different but i was confused because i was just trying to find my size and i wear a 39 in most european shoes so i was kind of confused about are they gonna come more curly textured if i get the men's but I don't think so. I think it's just the way that they're photographed and also that they are literally a different shoe in terms of the heel height. Um, it's just different. So I would say I tried these on. I love these. They do fit true to size, but I'll show you me trying them on because I did get a 38 and a half and a 38. Guess which color I got the 38 in. Okay, just guess. Now I'll tell you what colors are available right now. They do have a deep, gorgeous brown. The deep brown is only available on Luisa Villaroma, and I was tempted to get those as well, but I said, let me try these. I knew I wanted the pink, so I said, for sizing, I will try this color first, and then decide if I like the shoe in general, get a feel for the sizing, and then if I wanna buy more, I'll buy more. But I'm the queen, absolute queen of buying something I like in multiple colors and then I really only love one so I just had to chill out take it slow but clearly I didn't take it slow because I bought three pairs so there's a brown there's pink which you already know I have there is green this like lime green then there's blue mineral blue which is like really gorgeous there is yellow and then there's also orange which oh the orange is so gorgeous as well so guess which one i didn't get my exact size in but i still decided to buy because i was that crazy and i really wanted to know if i like them because if i like them then i'm gonna go hunt in the internet for them guess what color all right <laughs> next is the spring 2022 collection color and just guess which color this is i like this box a lot like at first i thought they sent me two boxes but i was like no it fits together perfectly so these are also a 38 and a half the other ones the 38s they just got here so i didn't even open them yet so we're gonna have a first reaction to those but again these are beautifully packaged you know has the marnie hey. <laughs> oh, has the marnie hang tag and like i said this one is different but it still it still says the same thing obviously when you get any leather good they're going to give you a disclaimer dust bag they're gonna give you a disclaimer that you know color varies and that it may fade it may like mark off on your larder fabrics so that's just typical so these ooh, these are the yellow color first look i was a little bit disappointed with the color because i think that online you get a sense that the color is a lot more of a chick yellow than a gold sun yellow like a sunlight this is a sunlight color and i feel like with colors like this especially primary colors you need a descriptor you need a descriptor so that the person knows what kind of yellow what kind of red what kind of blue it is because when you're photographing things online it's not always going to come across so i think that to be truthful and i hope that the sweater is a, a good backdrop for the true color of this i don't think that there are two colorways of this yellow i think that this is the only one i mean it has to be the only one i've seen it photographed on different websites and it looks so different that i really wanted to share this with you because if you are expecting like a super bright chick yellow this is not it this is gold this is this is lakers this is a laker colorway okay so i just wanted to point that out but 
the shape is still just as beautiful for whatever reason i feel like this is a lighter shoe they do feel different they're fundamentally different i feel like the calf hair on these is slightly more packed in and it's slightly coarser in comparison to the pink and to the fuchsia um these are slightly more coarse and i don't think that i'm just imagining that i think that it is a true feel so i would just say if you if you are more particular about those type of things i would say that this maybe is just the 2022 um batch of furs of pelts or whatever is different but it does feel different to me to me and it does look a little bit different i feel like it's not as loose and this could be because they were packed in tight and then once they're out in the air you know they fluff up that's very possible especially i wear a lot of like skins and hairs and furs so i know that things can change once you know these natural fibers are exposed to the elements so just be that's something just to be aware of i will say i don't love this color when i put them on i wasn't like oh yeah like i'm i'm i know what i'm gonna wear with this i wasn't like excited to like really pair anything with it so i think that these may be a return for me but it was worth a try it was absolutely worth a try and when i try them on for you maybe we'll see something different maybe you let me know let me know in the comments what you think how you like this yellow what you think it looks like compared to the pink um but yeah that's just that's just that's just how i feel you know all righty so this is the pair that i haven't seen yet I haven't tried these on yet this i literally just opened them up like i don't even know what time it is it's probably like four o'clock i got these at 2 30 so we're gonna go on an adventure together get ready to guess what color these are okay now the only colors left are brown blue green and orange so guess guess right now as i open these up dust bag coming off what color will they be? Mineral blue. Mineral blue. Off the bat. These look small, so they probably won't fit, which breaks my heart. But the color is gorgeous. Let me just take this in. Because it does have like a little bit of like a sheen to it if i'm not mistaken and i'm rarely mistaken no i'm just kidding <laughs> but i will say that these feel soft like the other fuchsia ones i think it's i think it's just the way that the fur is dyed and the color and whatever process they do for each of these i think is different and so it does look different in just the texture but overall, I really love this color. I think that it's just something different. You don't see a blue shoe like this very often. So I think with this type of shoe in particular, it's kind of like if you're going to do it and you feel like a lot of people already have something, you might want to go for a color that's more unusual because then it's going to take up your outfit or your look a notch. So that's why I feel like I liked these and I gravitated towards them. I'm praying that they are not too small, but I think that they are like these are the yellow. I typically wear an eight and a half and these are the 8.5. These fit extremely true to size. I feel like, you know, you can't go wrong with taking your size. I think if you have a wider foot, you may want to size up. Oh my god, wait, I'm shaking. How do these fit me? How do these fit me? These are a size 38. Now, I will say that a lot of times I do take a 38 in shoes, but I don't know how these are exactly fitting me. Like, I don't know how these are like fitting me exactly the same, if not better 
than the 38 and a half. That is crazy. Last but not least, these are also a 38 and a half. These fit, I would say they fit perfectly in terms of I could wear a sock with these and they would be fine. You want to get your size. I wouldn't go bigger because like this is an eight and a half. This fits me. These are roomy. And I think that these may be the women's sizes and these may be the men's. So let me try them both. Okay, so here's a comparison in terms of the shoe itself. Don't look at my toes. <laughs> this is a size comparison. And then with them on, this is the 30, this is the 38 and a half, and this is the 38. So you can see there is like a size difference. And like I said, it's also just the season. I think the hair on these is just packed way, way tighter. Like these are a lot fluffier. That's something to consider when you're buying these that, you know, different colorways are gonna fit differently, but I love them both. I really like both of these. I tried it on with a sock and it's definitely like kind of hanging off on the heel. Like I would have to push my foot all the way to the top to wear a sock with it. But you know, it's fashion. Might be able to get away with it. <laughs> So that is it guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you got some value out of it and it answered some of your questions. You can always ask me more questions on my Instagram DMs or write down in the comments below. Make sure that you like this video and let me know what you wanna see next. I have a ton more fashion content coming. I'm not going anywhere. So make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and yeah. See you next time on Planet Soups. <laughs> All right, bye guys.